In this video, I'm going to explain to you all about DNS client or DNS resolvers. These two terms are used interchangeably, but they are pointing to the same thing. And also we are going to talk about DNS cache. When it comes to this DNS client, it is a tiny program that is running behind the scene on your computer that make the request to the DNS server and get the IP address of the domain you are looking for and then helps you load the page. To locate the DNS client program, go to your search window, type in services. This will come under the DNS client. So hit D and go to DNS client. This program will be running with the start of your computer. That's why it says triggered start and it is an automatic start. You do not have to manually start this program. Right click on this program and go to properties and the name of this service is DNS cache. Display name is DNS client. It has a description. Let's copy this description and paste it in a notepad and see what is in there. It says the DNS client service that is DNS cache, caches domain name system names and register the full computer name for this computer. It basically tells this DNS cache stores all the queries made to the DNS server from your computer or web browser. If the service is stopped, DNS names will continue to be resolved. That tells you the DNS cache is part of the DNS client. Even though you stop this DNS client service, it will be continue to run behind the scene and resolve your DNS queries. However, the results of the DNS name queries will not be cached and the computer name will not be registered. So it basically tells none of your search queries will be saved in the cache. The purpose of the DNS cache is to reduce the workload of a DNS server. Even though these DNS servers are so powerful and can handle thousands of queries per second, think about how many end devices are out there. There are billions of them. If every of these devices want to make the request to the DNS server every time they want to visit a website, these DNS servers are going to get overwhelmed. That is where this DNS cache come into play. So what it does is it stores the data that you visited recently. And when you try to make the request to go to that site again, it basically returned the results from the DNS cache and not to go to the DNS server to request the information. So only time these clients goes to the DNS server is whatever the site they are trying to browse is not in the DNS cache. So let's find out where this DNS cache resides. To look at the DNS cache, you open the command prompt by typing cmd and type in ipconfig display dns and you can see so many records here that you have visited recently and you can see that is storing the record name that is the site you visited and the ip address sometimes this list is so huge you cannot fit into the command line workspace what I'm going to do is I'm going to direct this output to a text file. To do that, I'm going to issue this command ipconfig display DNS forwarding that output to my user profile desktop. Now I'm going to go to my desktop and find out the DNS file. And now I can see everything in here. I can go to find, I can search whatever I want to look at. This is very convenient. Another important of this cache record is time to live. This is measured in seconds. That means this particular record will last only 12,042 seconds. After 12,042 seconds, it will be flushed out of your cache. The reason is, for example, if somebody is going to change the IP address of this domain name and the old record stays, in your cache, what will happen is when you try to go to the site, that IP doesn't exist. So you are going to get a page not found. 
So all these records that pass the TTL is going to be flushed out of your DNS cache. So what about, say, if you have this record in your cache for 12,042 seconds, and they decided to change this IP address in the middle. That is where the problem comes in. So when you try to go to this site, what will happen is your computer is going to look at this IP address and going to throw an error for your search. So in that case, you need to flush your DNS cache. So let's find out how we can flush the DNS cache. To flush your DNS cache, type in IP config flush DNS and it says successfully flush the DNS resolver cache. As I told you before, DNS client and DNS resolver are the same name. You can see that here. So now we can go to IP config, display DNS, and you don't see many records like in the past. So this is how DNS clients or DNS resolvers and DNS cache work on your end device. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my videos, hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification.